Clint Cosgrove, Rivals.com, on our early signing day show with special guest, head coach of the Cal Bears, Justin Wilcox. Thank you for coming on and talking some Cal football, Coach. Yeah, good to be with you, Clint. Yeah, so, uh, you know, today, uh, you know, early signing period, got some big names in the house. Uh, you know, one receiver in particular that really stands out to me, uh, Isaiah Hunter, a uh, special kid. I think he could be a difference maker. Tell me about his recruitment and uh, where you see him fitting in. Yeah, we got to know him early on. He had a more traditional recruiting process, maybe what the, the way we were used to years ago. Uh, yep. Got to know him early and uh, came to a lot of games, was around campus a lot. Very talented guy. Uh, he's got uh, demonstrated speed and he plays different positions. He's been impactful in the games he's played in and uh, – he really does have good size. I mean, so he's got a frame and he's strong. So really, really uh, excited about him. You know, ultimately he's got to come in and learn the system, but we have uh, a lot of faith that he's going to do that. And he could make an impact early. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, he, he looks like a special player on film, obviously a ton of upside. Um, you know, another guy that I'm a little more familiar with as well, because I, I cover the region is uh, Ben Marshall from Tennessee. And, uh, you know, he's a big tight end and I think he's got a chance to be a very good player as well. Tell me about one, uh, his, his, his upside and his fit, but two, you know, how do you go across the country and get a guy like that? Yeah, we watched a lot of players in, in recruiting and he, uh, came up and we were looking for the traits, you know, a guy that could catch the ball, that could do something after the catch. Um, and you watch his tape, not only does he catch it, high point it, he runs the ball. I mean, you watch him as a kind of a wildcat quarterback. And one of the connections there was uh, his head coach, Chandler Tigard, was our defensive GA when I was coaching at Tennessee. No so way. I've known the head coach uh, over, I guess, 10 years now. And Chandler does a really good job. And we had good communication with him. So I think that helped. Um, and then he came out here in the summer and did a visit. Pretty quiet reserve guy early on in the visit. And then, uh, you know, as the visit went along, kind of loosened up and just, I think, felt more and more comfortable and uh, just had a chance to go out there and, and visit with his family and a uh, really good kid and has a ton of upside. So we're, we're eager to get him out here. For sure. I think he can be a difference maker. Now, um, you guys done some great work in the transfer portal. I know you can't talk about maybe specific names, but maybe you can talk about your approach and how you've used that to supplement uh, your recruiting efforts. Yeah, I think it's, uh, we're active in it and going to be more and more active as we move forward in this new era of college football. Um, you know, finding people that fit in here from a football perspective, um, kind of what they're looking for off the field. And we've, we feel like we can be a really good landing spot for guys. Uh, we've, we've had a couple, uh, players this past year that had a ton of success, uh, coming in and, uh, from different places. So, uh, you know, I think it's, it's uh, becoming more and more uh, evident to us that we can be net positive. Like you're going to have in and out every year in this, in this day and age of college football. I was talking to one of our vets the other day, a six year guy who said, you know, it just doesn't feel like it used to, you know, three and four and five years ago. And I said, well, it's not going to, I mean, this is just in a different environment that we're in and uh, there'll be guys that transfer out. Uh, but I'm uh, fully confident that we're going to be net positive in the transfer portal and, uh, from everything that we've seen here in the initial stage of recruiting, it's going to end up that way. Yeah, you know, you bring up a great point. It is a totally different ball game than it used to be. Uh, I mean, even just a couple of years ago, and the transfer portal has obviously changed a lot. Um, and I was talking with an NFL GM the other day, and we talked about just kind of the evolution of almost college replicating that NFL style. Can you tell me uh, maybe your approach to, are, are you guys constantly looking at your roster saying who could leave, you know, where are we weak instead of the old school approach where, you know, three defensive backs graduated. So we took three, three more. Um, has, has the, has the approach just totally evolved? Tell me about uh, the way you, uh, I guess, attack and philosophy as of building the roster. Yeah. I mean, you're trying to forecast the best you can, but there's some, uh, elements that you just, the coaches, we don't have control over. And mm -hmm. so there's, you have to be agile when the time comes. If, if uh, you have some openings or if somebody chooses to transfer out that you're able to quickly identify who would be the potential fits. I mean, we evaluate everybody that's in the transfer portal. We got a process that we stick by. And um, 
I think it, it definitely changes how you look at your roster and you have to understand that each year it's going to be a little different, uh, more so than it had in the past. I mean, the, the forecasting, you know, in, the, in past years and 10 years ago and five years ago, you could have a pretty good idea of what the roster is going to look like and maybe supplement some junior college players, something mm-hmm. like that. But in this era with the guys in and out, and I also think it impacts your systematically how you, uh, how you train your team, how you teach them, what systems you run on offense, defense, and special teams, and uh, being really efficient in those areas is key. Um, but it is, it has gone that way. And until there's some more guidelines, um, which I think probably has to be coming at some point, I think the era yeah. we're in now with the transfer and the NIL environment, <laughs> I'm not sure how long that can sustain. Um, yep. and, but it's, what we're, it's where we are currently, and so we're active in that. Uh, but I, I do think at some point there will be maybe a, some more guidelines and uh, bumpers, so to speak, so that uh, people all understand the rules. Yeah, it's a little bit of the Wild West out there right now. And uh, I know each school has, uh, you know, individual battles that they're fighting right now. And, um, you know, it, it's just a very interesting time in the recruiting world, in the transfer world, NIL world. And it's all coming to a head. Um, you know, obviously that changes some things in the way you approach, but when you were going into this off season, uh, and during the season, when you were projecting this class out, you know, what were your main goals? What were your objectives? Uh, you know, obviously you're looking to, you know, plug some holes. Um, but you know, as far as ratio of high school kids, are you going to continue to try to sign them in the late signing period as well? Or are you looking more junior college transfer and that sort of thing? I think it's going to be year by year and it, it, changes in December based on how your roster may change based on guys maybe going to the NFL or maybe a backup guy is going to go into the transfer portal or whatever it might be. Um, so I think you're, you got to be real agile with that. And we are in this year, I bet we're going to be close to 50, 50 on high school to transfer portal. Um, in future years, it'll kind of depend to be honest with you. But, um, I think, uh, you know, everybody is, is, Again, I kind of go back to the part elements that you can control and then some that you don't. So you have to be ready uh, and, and be prepared when, in, in order to supplement your roster with good football players. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, that's to me, it's like you're going to get as many good football players on your roster as, as possible at every position. And uh, I think guys will make decisions and some guys will move on and some guys will kind of rise to the occasion. But Ultimately, that's what all of us are trying to do. And I think each year, like for us this year, I think DB, O-line, QB is going to be an emphasis. And other years, it may be different. For sure. Well, uh, really appreciate you coming on to talk Cal football, Coach. Uh, Congratulations on the great start to this class. Uh, I know there's some some impact players coming in that are going to be able to help you right away. And, uh, you know, I love what you guys are doing. And I can't thank you enough. Justin Wilcox from Cal. Appreciate it, Coach. Thanks a lot, Clint. Go Bears. Go Bears.